Hi friends, I am Madhu. In this video, we are going to talk about one more important topic that is profit and loss. So before we get started, as you know, we will start with the inspiring thought. So the inspiring thought for today is, there is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. In this thought, it is just said that if you want to get, get your goals, if you want to get successful, you have to work hard for it. There is no substitute, there is no shortcut for hard work. For example, for reaching at the top of a building, you have to take the stairs. Because when we start climbing stairs, we progress step by step. And the stairs which we have climbed are established and they are done. Elevator is like a shortcut here. It cannot make you reach at the success, but it can give you temporary pleasure. That's why when you want to get successful in your life, you have to work hard for it in a disciplined manner. There is no substitute, no shortcut for it. So now let's quickly get started our topic that is profit and loss. So uh, now we will discuss some of the formulas that will be covered in this chapter. Some of them are now in this chapter mainly there are four five terms that we need to understand that is first of all SP that is the selling price. For example, I bought anything, I buy anything from the shop. So the cost at which I have bought that object, that cost is known as the cost price or the CP. And that object I'm selling to anyone. Then that price at which I will sell, that is known as selling price or SP. So whenever we are buying or selling any object, we are having profit or loss. There are only two things, profit or loss. Profit or gain, anything you can say, both the terms means the same. Gain is equal to selling price minus cost price. When you have to take out the gain, the formula is selling price minus cost price. And when there is a loss, we are suffering from loss, then the formula is cost price minus selling price, just a posit. If the cost price is more and I'm selling in less price, then obviously I'm having a loss. Then we have, uh, we have the formula when we have to calculate the selling price, we are having cost price and the gain percent. In this, the formula is 100 plus gain percent divided by 100 into cost price. Means here if we have to calculate the selling price, we are having cost price and the gain percent, then this is the formula. And then when we have to take out the selling price, but in place of gain percent, we are having here loss percent. Then the, almost the formula is same, just the change here is minus loss percent will be there. Here plus gain percent was there, but here minus loss percent will be there. Now next one is when we have to calculate the cost price. Here we have to calculate the selling price, but here we have to calculate cost price. Then the formula is 100 divided by 100 plus gain percent multiplied by selling price. Here just the difference was here 100 plus gain percent was on the numerator side. Here it is in denominator side. Just the reciprocal is there, nothing different. Then cost price we have to take out, we are having loss percent. Then the formula is same, just minus loss percent will come. Rest of the things are same. So these are the very basic formulas that are used in then this chapter. So friends, now we will do some questions related to the formulas we have discussed earlier. So the first one is Ranjit purchased an Almira for rupees 5248 and paid rupees 1, 127 on transportation. He sold it for rupees 6020 find the gain or loss percent. So the question is saying to us that Ranjit have purchased Almira. Cost of that Almira is 5248. And then he paid 127 on transportation. When he is bringing anything to his shop or at his home, obviously he will use some transport and for that he will have to pay some transportation charges. So that he, uh, he have paid 127 on transportation. And this is the 
price of the almira so this transportation and the price will be added and they will be counted only as cost price of the almira because these both have only spend on the almira he has spent it for almira so that's why they both are counted as cost price we will add them and then we will get the final cost price then he sold it for rupees 6020 when this is the selling price find the gain or loss percent question is saying that if in this whole transaction if he is having gain then find the gain percent and if there is a loss you have to find loss percent so we will start the co this question by writing cost price of almira cost price will be 5248 plus Uh, he had paid on transportation that is 127 we will add them and we will get 15 one carry we will get 5 5375 so this is the final cost price of the almira now selling price of almira that selling price is he sold it for 6020 So this is the selling price. This is the cost price. Now, as you can see, selling price is more than the cost price. Then uh, it clarifies us that he is having gain. He have gained something. So here you can see that selling price is more. So we will find out the gain. And the formula for finding out the gain is selling price minus cost price. So selling price is six thousand twenty minus. Fifty three hundred seventy five. That is the cost price, and then we will subtract them, and we will get six forty five rupees six forty five. So this is the gain gain uh, gain by Ranjit. He have gained six forty five rupees. So the question is not asking the gain. The question is asking gain or loss percent. means we are having gain that's why we have to find gain percent here so i'm doing here so the formula for gain percent formula for gain percent is very simple i have not told you earlier but it is very simple i'm telling now it is gain divided by cost price multiplied by 100 so this is the formula for the gain percent just remember that it is next next part i'm separating it here so that it can be clear to you for the formula for gain percent is gain divided by cost price into 100 so gain is 645 cost price is cost price is 5375 into 100 so after this after this calculation we will get 12% so this 12% is the gain percent he have gained so this was the question it was very easy mainly two formulas we used here that is for taking out the gain and for gain percent So friends here is the next question it is Rashmi bought a bag for rupees 475 for how much should she should she sell it to gain 16% means here in this question what is given Rashmi bought a bag means she uh, we are having the cost price here that she bought it for 475 then ha for how much should she sell it to gain 16% means we are having here gain percent so what what we are having cost price we are having gain percent we are having what the question is asking for how much should she sell it means selling price they are asking so we will use the formula as you know selling that we will see so firstly we will write cost price of the bag it is rupees 475 then gain percent gain percent is 
सिक्सटीन परसेंट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द सेलिंग प्राइस सेलिंग प्राइ फॉर्मुला इज हंड्रेड प्लस गेन परसेंट वी हैव डिस्कस डेट अर्लियर हंड्रेड प्लस गेन परसेंट डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड इन टू कोस्ट प्राइस सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर द गेन परसेंट नाउ वी विल पुट द वैल्यूज डूइंग इट हेयर फर्स्ट हंड्रेड प्लस गेन परसेंट मी गेन परसेंट इज सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड प्लस सिक्सटीन डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड इन टू कोस्ट प्राइस इज फोर सेवेंटी फाइव फोर सेवेंटी फाइव हेयर सी वी हैव पुट द वैल्यूज हेयर हंड्रेड प्लस गेन परसेंट दैट इज सिक्सटीन परसेंट डिवाइडेड बाय हंड्रेड इन टू द कोस्ट प्राइस कोस्ट प्राइस इज फोर सेवेंटी फाइव आफ्टर दिस कैलकुलेशन वी विल गेट द आंसर फाइव फिफ्टी वन फाइव हंड्रेड फिफ्टी वन सो दिस इज द सेलिंग प्राइस एट दिस प्राइस रश्मि शुड सेल हर बैग टू गेन सिक्सटीन परसेंट सो फ्रेंड्स हेयर इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन बाय सेलिंग अ बुक फोर रुपीज सिक्स फोर्टी एट अ बुक सेलर अर्नस अ प्रॉफिट ऑफ ट्वेंटी परसेंट फाइंड द कोस्ट प्राइस ऑफ द बुक दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो वेरी सिंपल बाय सेलिंग अ बुक फॉर दिस मीन्स वी आर हैविंग द सेलिंग प्राइस दैट इज द क्वेश्चन इज टेलिंग अस दैट ही हैव सोल्ड अ बुक फॉर दिस मच रुपीज दैट इज सिक्स फोर्टी एट दैट इज सेलिंग प्राइस अ बुक सेलर अर्नस अ प्रॉफिट मीन्स हेयर गेन परसेंट इज गिवन टू अस बाय सेलिंग एट दिस amount he is having a profit of 20% so what what we are having gain percent we are having and the selling price what the question is asking cost price so in previous question we was having the cost price we have to find the selling price but here is uh, opposite we are having selling price we have to find out the cost price so we will write selling price of the book it is rupees 648 then gain percent which he have gained it is 20% what we want is cost price so the formula is 100 divided by 100 plus gain percent into selling price this is the formula and now we will put the values so see and now we will put the values and we will get the answer here doing it here 100 divided by 100 plus gain percent see here 100 divided by 100 plus gain percent gain percent is 20% so we will add here 20 multiplied by selling price selling price is 648 so we have placed the values and after the calculation we will get this 100 cancelled and then we will get the answer rupees 540 so this is the cost price of the book if the seller will buy the book in this um, in this much amount and he will sell it for 648 he will gain 20% so like this you can solve any question there were just four five main formulas in that in this chapter just you have to remember this so friends we have finished this topic that is profit and loss in this video we discussed about what is profit loss some of the basic formulas of this chapter and we did some questions i hope you have understood it i will keep on making videos on another topics of maths as well so stay connected with me and please tell your opinion your suggestions in the comment box that's all for this video thank you